Okay, we're going to do um, panning background in Hype. We previously done this in Flash and we're just going to repeat the process in Hype. First up, we're going to make a sort of a letterbox stage. So we'll open up the inspector, we'll go to the document size and we'll change it to um, 900 by 300. We change the stage size. We need to put a background color. So we'll go to the animation timelines and it's got background. And within here, we'll select uh, a nice color for the background of our stage. Now it's gonna be our sky. Now we need to bring in some elements and as we've seen before, you can drop these in the resources if you wish, or you can drop things directly onto the stage. So I've got a cloud here, um, and then I've got two other elements to come in, the walkers, another cloud picture. Now, once I've got those, I will start to lay up uh, my background and first I was going to put some clouds along here so I've got sun cloud and I'll just drop that on there and plonk it on then I'll bring in um, another element another cloud and drop that on there and then another cloud put up I might scale that one to make it a bit smaller and finally, I'll just get another cloud, which will pull over here. Right, so I've got some clouds set up on my background. These have been saved as transparent PNG files with a bit of a shadow on there. Finally, I'm going to just shift click these items, each of those clouds, and up at the top, I'm going to group them together. And you'll see in the timeline, it says group. Now I can just call that clouds, and they're all grouped together in one folder. Now, Hype has reduced working tools. It's okay for doing sort of squares and rounded um, corners on rectangles, but um, if you need to bring anything in or create anything, unlike what you can do in Flash, you will have to probably create it in another program like Photoshop and bring these elements in. So I have created um, a sort of oval shape here, I've saved it as a, a, a transparent PNG file. It's a dark color, and I will need to put these on here and stretch them out, bearing in mind when we did this before. We've got those here, so we've got to create some hills. So I've got that, and then I can copy and paste and do another one. And finally, copy and paste. And do one more there. Now we've seen before we need to create um, more, a longer length than we need. So it needs to be longer because we're going to um, drag things out. Now again, I'm going to group these together. Shift click, go up to the top and group, and it will have um, a group and I will call it um, back underscore hills. That's that group. And then finally, I'm going to bring in the front hills, which are just a lighter oval. And I've got that, and I drag it and drop it on here. Now, these will just have to be made here, and they'll be right down the bottom. And I copy and I paste, and I move that along here and then paste again. Now these two will have to be um, a little bit longer in the hills, so we'll draw those out, make them a little bit bigger. And drag them down because they, they need to tween and so they need to have enough to tween. Right, again, once I've got those, I can then 
shift click them all and group them all together and call that group front underscore hills and then uh, the sky I'll just have about here moving this this side and then move these elements so the coming along we need to have just about enough here and just enough coming along to the okay now we need to put some tweens on that so the back tween needs to be a little bit of a slower tween so we've got the those grouped together um, and what we can do we'll record the tween okay the next thing is to put some tweens on that I select the cloud group and I'm going to record so I put the playback head here on 10 seconds and I'm going to press record the record button here once I press record and the playback heads at 10 I can just drag along and you'll see the tween will move along the and put that on there. Now next I'm going to click on the um, background hills and again this is going to be dragged along a little bit further with the tween line moving along here like so and then finally we're going to do the front so again um, this we're going to click here and move this along and this is going to move a little bit more quickly so the tween lines longer once we set that up we can preview it in the browser and see how it works so ideally you should have the hills working a little bit more quickly and the background moving a little bit more slowly now finally we have um, <clears throat> another item to bring in and if I go to my resources these are just animated GIFs which we've used before and if I've got that I can stick that on here and you'll see he'll be walking away there the animated GIF is working and then again if we preview in the browser you will see it's working away there.